Well, well. Got an early bird in our midst. Prime. Just one patrol. Mixture of yours must have worked. Evelyn, you ready? Are you kidding? Of course I am. Three, two, one. It's clear. On your way. City foul, shite all over again. What? Patrol's turning round. We've one minute. Move. Memory serves. You assured us there'd be no one inside. Seems my informer was wrong. Is that all you've got to say? I nearly broke my neck. You knew what you were signing up for. This is no time to argue. Gotta agree. Backing out's not an option anymore. Need to see this through, whatever happens. Hallowed words. One guard could mean many more. You'd best draw your sword now. No. What now? No one dies. Said so from the start. Whatever. Don your masks and let's go. Everyone. Mine are open. I've already seen several things I'd gladly take with me. Not now. The vault. That's our target. Is that clear? Yes, but we shall raise the starting pro Watch this! Guards! Guards! Should have stayed in that cage. You said. I damn well know what I said. At them before they sound the alarm. That smells of good break. Oh, no! 
Stop him! He's not to flee! Lock themselves in. Bollocks! Damn it. Lay down your arms! You have no chance! Perhaps not. <laughs> but we do have hostages. Mercy, Master! On the count of three, we go in! One! Two! <laughs> Come one step closer and folk will die! Hold now! We must negotiate. What are your demands? To release the hostages? Buy us a bit of time, Geralt. We have one demand. Pull back from the auction house. You know I cannot do that! You can, just not sure you want to. How about I help you decide, kill a hostage? Just do what they want! I beg you! <laughs> Calm yourself. No one is to be harmed, clear? Nothing simpler. So long as you take your boys and pull out, we'll all live happily ever after. I repeat, that is not an option. We must bargain, reach an agreement. So tell me a joke. Any joke, so long as it's funny. Excuse me? This is no... Got a tip for you. No charge. Every tip after this will cost you, in the blood of an innocent. When talking to someone who's holding hostages, never use the words no, not, but, or maybe. Understand, Reginald? My name's not Reg. <laughs> You're not supposed to say not! Huh, see that? This one gets the idea. And if I want to call you Reginald, I'll call you Reginald. Clear? Yes. Clear. Excellent. So let me hear the joke, Reginald. And believe me, you better hope it makes me laugh. A, li a little elfin runs up to, to his mother, calling Poop Poop. She, she says, it's over there, love. Cut yourself a slice. Huh. Actually kind of funny. Make that up yourself? No, I... Ah! For the love of the gods, stop saying no! Yes, yes! I made it up myself, all alone! Time he took a gander downstairs. Vault's open. Got talent, Reginald. Start thinking of your next joke. You got ten minutes. Goodwill gesture now. Letting one hostage go, then another hostage for every joke you tell me. Deal? Deal. Ten minutes. <sighs> Good work. Sorry, boys. You'll have to go on without me. I didn't sign on for this turn of events. Just one way out of here. Through the vault. There's a second. The chimney. Leave our squeeze through. Doubt you can, Witcher. You've no choice, I'm afraid. Let's go. Downstairs. The lock, lovingly crafted. Two spring-loaded bolts, cylindrical plugs, Dameritian wards. I'm not interested. No one's interested. We go in. Geralt, you're at the fore. Why me? It's why I hired you. Now move, with no time. Mm -hmm. Do 
or die. You don't know who you're fucking with! On the contrary, I know all too well. Yeah, you old? Greetings, brother. Been years. Well, well. Complications, complications. Right. Should have known. Same eyes, same double chin, same rotten heart. Just one question. This family reunion? What's the point? Revenge. For betrayal. Years of poverty. Humiliation. Father left the auction house to me in his will. Horst cheated me. Had me disinherited. Anything. Everything we earned, you squandered on cards and whores. Father didn't see that. I did. That's no excuse, Horst. And it won't save your life. You two, stand with me. I'll not let the Redanians lay a hand on you. Give you whatever you want. A desperate attempt at bribery going once, twice, thrice. Hmm. No takers, no sale. Speak for yourself. Tempting offer. I've succumbed. You'll pay for that, Quinto. With your head. At them! Not good. I'd have preferred to resolve this elsewise. Stolen the scrolls, thrown you out into the street. Revenge is best served cold, after all. But I don't mind serving it hot. No. I beg you. Mercy. For your brother. I shall do anything you ask. Truly. Anything. Anything. Sign over to me. All that you own. Then walk out as you stand. Just the clothing on your back. Allow me one thing. Any one thing. Fifteen years. In the sewers. Like a beast. And you the cheek. To plead. that 
Satisfied? Exceptionally. You? No. And I won't be until I find Max Bersodi's house. In this vault, or so you said. And it is. There. But I fear it's not yours for the taking. You see... It houses my father's will. A scroll thanks to which Ewald Borsodi, long missing, will assume the family fortune. And Geralt of Rivia, who you cheated, what'll he assume? Alas, but he's free to choose anything else. Don't provoke me. Never know. Might choose to take your head. You're wounded. Tired. Figure my chances are good. I could drop you easily, but maybe I don't have to. We could try to figure this out. A compromise looks unlikely. We both want Max's house. Not quite. You just need the contents. Me, the box. The downstairs! So be it. Seal it with a handshake. Give me the damn casket, and let's get out of here. As you wish. This way. Well, here's where our paths part. Shut up. Was I that bad? No, but you came awfully close, Ewald. Survived by a hair. You ever have a basilisk hide or fiend horns and want a good price? Look for me at the auction house. Mm-hmm. Consider it noted. Need to chat. I'm all ears with you. Got something for you. I love gifts, but I prefer to unwrap them in private. Oi, lads, mind the barrels. Going out for a jabber with Geralt. Come. Oh, that's better. All right. What do you have for me? Max Persodi's house, as requested. The papers, where are they? Left them in the vault. You wanted the house, you got the house. Never mentioned its contents. You're a quick study. Already as tricky as Odim himself. Keen to ridicule a man. Do you know what I and the company do with your type? No. Dying to hear, though. Always liked a tale with a thrill. I'm in no mood for jests. Neither am I. Did my job, Olgird. Delivered what you asked for, to the letter. I'm happy. Hell, should have chosen your words more carefully. Yes, I should have. I assume you came to an agreement with Horst. Shame. A right horse in that one. Made a deal with his brother, who then beat the living shit out of Horst with a gold candle holder. Ha. <laughs> it's progress. Why did you even need those papers? To sink the Borsodis, naturally. You see, I learned of an interesting clause in old man Maximilian's will. It states that his sons must meet and shake hands in agreement at least once a year at Bellatay. 
Failing that, the auction house must be auctioned off. The proceeds to go to Bill Marius Hospital. Guess the old man sensed what might happen. Aimed to deliver those papers to the right hands. Bosodi would have landed in the streets. And the hospital would have gotten the funds it needs to treat orphans and beggars pro bono. Awfully noble of you, showing so much concern for the needy. I couldn't give a rat's ass about the needy. Made her with it and disappear along with the city. I wanted one thing. Revenge. The Borsodis. What's your gripe? Get kicked out of an auction? Worse. They evicted me from my home. Are you really interested? Wouldn't have asked if I wasn't. Ha! <laughs> Cheeky as ever. My family. They took on some debt. A poor investment in a sawmill. A bad crop one year. A lawsuit lost. You know how it is. When it rains, it pours. We needed but a few weeks to recover. But Horst Borsodi had acquired our debt. All of it. Demanded it be repaid immediately. I pleaded. I begged. I tore open my shirt at his threshold. Ugh. It was like talking to a wall. I went to the auction. Saw those perfumed pricks by my father's sword. My mother's death mask. My brother's horse tack. Ah. Horst earned a pretty pile selling our mementos. No surprise the animosity you feel for him. That was but a start. My Iris's parents learned of my family's misfortune. And our betrothal was no more. They found her another suitor. One from beyond the sea. The anger I felt. I thought I'd gone mad. Went to the tavern. Drank around. A second. A broad. Then had another tank. And then... Then... I asked the wrong bloke for help. What happened then? Ah, what happened then, Witcher, was one big stinking pile of shite. Well, why do you stand there? Do you need something still? Third wish. Time you stated it. A moment, Geralt. I will say to something. Then we'll chat. You there. Yank the herring out the barrel. This dallying. Ah, ah, ah. Now, ready to listen? Or do you still not give two shots about what I've got to say? I'm ready. I'm listening. Good. You'll return to your lord and tell him as follows. His demand was brazen. Hurt me to the core. For I was brought up to respect the sacred law of hospitality. And I shall not bend to an uncouth boar's dictum. Understood. I will pay him a visit shortly to test his willingness to adapt. So you ride off and announce me. And don't spare your horse. Got it? Aye, got it. Give this man a mount and leave him go. Come with you. We must talk outside. The Afiri believe one should only discuss important matters out of doors, with the gods as witnesses. Must have made quite a few enemies along the way. Maybe not today and not tomorrow, but someday, someone will find a way to take you down. And that should trouble me why. I feel no fear, no regret. The wise men of Oxenfurt claim there are no gods. After death, there is only the void. I've known this void already. Death holds no surprises. 
barrel. What was that about? On the way here, we stopped for nourishment at a tavern belonging to one Lord Dauntless. We enjoyed ourselves as one does at an inn, raucously. Our antics were not to the liking of this Dauntless. Sent a man to warn us that if we were ever to return, we would hang. You burn the inn down? I left ample compensation with the innkeep. But it seems the rapscallion neglected to mention this to his lord. But that's of little import. What matters is someone called me a horsey and threatened to kill me. It was one of those threats that sound like an invitation. I intend to accept it. Return to those parts. Fulfilled two of your wishes. Time I learned the third. Confident, aren't you? Proud. Sure of your strengths. Fearless. Third task, if you don't mind. Mutations. They stripped you of emotion. Tell me, have you ever loved? I mean, truly loved? Yeah, I've loved. Can we get to the matter at hand? Perhaps instead we ought to sit down inside. Have a good chat over some fiery water. We'll drink once the job's done. I'm afraid that's impossible. Succeed and that's the end of me. Fail and you'll not be back. Third wish, still waiting to hear it. Why, aren't you stubborn? Fine. Listen well. I had a wife once. The day I saw her last, I gave her a rose. A violet one. Bring me that blue. Wouldn't mind reminding myself what it looks like. <sighs> when was that? How long's it been? Flowers wilted and turned to dust by now. You wished to hear a wish. Now you out. Fulfill it. I ride now to visit this Dormus, but one of my men will remain here. He'll know how to find me. That is, of course, should you succeed. At least you could tell me where your wife is. In my old manor, east of Martin Foy's farmstead. I'd wish you Godspeed, but, well, you understand, I'm sure. Goodbye, Geralt. Kendrick! Kendrick! You there? Not so loud. Ah! God, you scared me often! To... Not so loud, I said. Fog's not natural. Could be something in there hiding. Foglets or air nymphs, for example. Don't want to attract them. Believe me. F foglets Oh, sweet mother, my little why don't I ever come here? Kendrick fellow, who is he? I... we partners. Sneak into derelict houses. Always something valuable lying about. Mm-hmm. So you're a thief. Thief steal from the living? What's the arm taken from the dead? Kendrick went to open the door. I stood watch. Suddenly heard his lamp smash. And then nothing. Quiet. Called out to him, but... What? What, what was that? One of them foglets you spoke of? No. Phew. That's a stone off my... I'll see what that was and look for your partner. You... I ain't about to wait around. I'm out of here. Pretty sprawling, this estate. How am I gonna find that rose in this fog? Fresh manure. Someone's still tending to the flower beds. No violet rose, though. Water's ice cold. Mountain stream cold. Woods rotted completely. Beehives. 
well maintained but dormant. Rather worn, used often, wonder by who. No violet rose here, maybe somewhere out back. What are you doing in a place like this? Best shoe before you get hurt. A grave, here? A busted lamp, and the ground's trampled. Somebody dragged something this way. A body? Someone dragged a wounded man through here. Prints from cleated boots, leading from the back of the garden. I'd scooch along, kitty. This place. What's that? That. Digging. Unmarked, laid out in rows, like garden beds. Hey. Hear me? thief. Bodies mutilated. Who are you? or nostrils, deformed organs, damn thing had no right to be alive.
Well, philosophers do still debate what it means to be alive, exactly. Normally I'd be shocked, but not after what I just saw. Who are you two? Clearly not animals. Think of us as friends of the house. What about this thing? What can you tell me? A friend of yours? We called him the Caretaker. Doesn't look like any creature I've ever seen. Where'd it come from? From very far away. He was summoned to guard Lady Iris in the home. He tended the garden, took care of unwanted guests. Very far away? Meaning where exactly? The name of this place would mean naught to you. What's with the show? The pretense that you're animals? You couldn't have warned me? No. We're obliged to maintain discretion. So why talk to me at all? Why? Well, we get so few chances to talk to humans, and we're curious to know what brought you. Gonna need a better answer than that. Later. You know the master of the house, the owner? Olgierd von Everick. Yes, we know him, but he left, and his wife became mistress of the house. Great. So, Lady Von Everick home? Could you announce me, say she has a guest? Why do you wish to see her? I'm here to get the violet rose Olgierd gave Iris just before he left. Iris is inside, in the bedchamber upstairs. Take his key, it opens the rear door. Guess I'll make my own introductions. So, how should I address you? As you did now. We'd rather keep our names to ourselves. A hairbrush. Floral ornamentation. Pretty. Guess thieves tried to lower the statue with ropes, but something scared them off. Don't know this deity. Strange. Old gear doesn't seem the pious type. Served. Caretaker must still set the table.
chamber. Iris was supposed to be here. Gotta be her. Damn it. You wish to see her? Here she is. A man should frame his wishes carefully. It forestalls disappointment. This some sick joke. Why didn't you tell me she was dead right away? You didn't ask. <sighs> and why hasn't anyone buried her? We can't. As for the caretaker, the one you cut down, while still alive, she ordered him to stay away from her for all time. The deeper I get into this, the more I gotta wonder. Why are you even helping me? We were summoned to serve Iris von Everick. Our mistress died, but that did not free us from her service. Got it. You wanna leave this place, leave these bodies? <laughs> Surprised? No, not at all. How did she die? Don't see any wounds, evidence of a fight. Her heart burst. Meaning what? A heart attack? No, it simply burst. Find that hard to believe. Yet that's precisely what happened. One day Iris locked the front door, lay down here and died. From grief, from loneliness. Her ghost's restless, angry. Attacks intruders. Know why? Lady Von Everick has endured much hardship. She's unaccustomed to guests and not fond of strange folk. She can't hear us. Seems I gotta speak to Iris's ghost. It's no easy task to contact the mistress. Rage and bitterness fill her. Got my ways. To make contact with Iris, I gotta bury her body. But that caretaker's macabre little cemetery won't do. Too much blood, too much fear. She spent much time in the front garden. Hmm, maybe there. Wait. Take this key. It opens the front door. Good dog. This place seems suitable? Yes, she loved to paint. Did Iris von Everick have any last requests? Say how she wanted her remains disposed of? She feared death. Worried none would see to her burial or say a kind word in parting. Guess I'll be the one to do that. I didn't know Iris von Everek, so I can't say much about her. Fate had it a stranger now lays her remains in the grave. At times, fate muddles our path, and life turns toilsome, hard to bear. Yet all deserve respite and peace in death. Your name's inscribed in this sketchbook. Perhaps you'd like it to be buried with you. You two, got any last words for your mistress? We don't partake in human rituals. Trusting that what you've done is in keeping with your customs. The remains are interred. Let's summon her. Tormented spirit, I've laid your bones to rest. Forget your wrath, forget your grief. Show yourself. Forgive me for tearing you from your realm. I need to ask you...
Should I follow you? All right. <laughs> 